We are live um, from Kumasi here in the Ashanti region, coming to you um, from the car park of where the students and um, the contestants of the National Science and Maths Quiz um, have been lodging. The, park, the car park used to be very busy, but now it is empty because, as you know, more than 50 schools um, have been eliminated from the um, competition. And now we are down um, to just three schools um, in the grand finale of the National Science and Maths Quiz. We're coming to you and uh, we are live um, from Kumasi on the Joy News channel. We are also live um, on Joy Prime. My name is Maxwell um, Agbagba and I'll be interacting with the final from um, Prosec Legon at Disadel College, and then um, the contestants um, from Prempe College would also um, be joining us shortly. But from at Disadel College, we have uh, Prince Abwaje, we also have Parkway Sidonko, and then we have Abdul Wadud Abdul Moomin, they are from Adisadol College. And then from Prosec Legon, we have Alfred Ken in Siam, and we also have Austin Afutu. And then um, we have John um, Tinkran, also from Presec Legon. Let me start with the gentleman from um, Presec Legon. I know many of you have been nursing the dream of representing, you know, your dream schools. I'm sure back in junior high school, you wanted to represent, you know, um, your SHS at the National Science and Maths Quiz. In fact, there's a picture, there's a viral photo of you, Alfred, and then another person um, uh, at the finals of the 2021 quiz, right? Tell me, when did you start dreaming of getting on the stage of the National Science and Math quiz? Alfred, let me start with you. So when we came to um, Presec, we, we, when we came to Presec, we heard of the Science and Math quiz. Okay. And from there on, we decided that uh, we would try and put in our efforts so that we, we, we can become like our seniors. And mm -hmm. from then we started working towards it and look at how far God has brought us. Mm. So for you, it started from um, senior high school? Yes, but I saw the NSMQ before senior high school. Okay, and, and that's where the interest started from, I won't believe. Yes. Okay, and then uh, who else was in the auditorium? Was it John. Austin or John? John? John, tell me, at the time, 2021, when you were sitting in the auditorium, uh, did you... Did you think that you're going to represent Presec Legon. I'm sure by then they were preparing you um, um, to represent the school, right? Okay. Yeah, um, as at that time, I was optimistic that I'll join a team and represent the school so that the trophy will bring it to Presec. Mm. Okay, okay, great. Let me come to you. Uh, Prince Abwaji, where's Prince? This is Prince, yeah, Prince. Tell me, how did it start for you also, the NSMQ journey? Did it start from junior high school oh. or from SHS? It started when I completed junior high school. Okay. After we've chosen our schools, then I saw I decided competing in the semi-final. Okay. okay. But it didn't really go on for us. Mm. So I decided that if I, if I get to attend Adisadel, I'll try my possible best to represent our school, the school. Okay. <laughs> what was that? So did the National Science and Math Quiz influence your decision um, to choose a disadvantaged college for senior high school? Partly, yes. Partly? Yes. Okay. Let me, let me find out from the gentleman from Premper College. Premper College, is it the same thing from you? The dream started from junior high school? No. For me, the dream started in primary. In primary? Yes, please. Tell me about it. Um, I think around class four. Yeah. We were watching the quiz with my mom, and then a set of radio came. I think the answer was carbon dioxide. So after answering it, I felt, oh, I can do this. So I tried my best. Mm. And okay. And so that's how it started for you. Okay. Now let me come to Adesado College. Um, the contest, the semi-final contest that got you into the uh, grand finale, you came in as the um, as the underdogs. Um, because your previous, in your previous contest, you had scored the lowest, you know, um, you had had the lowest scores in your previous contest before, you know, um, the, uh, the, 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 the semi-final. And you came up against giants like Opoku High School and then St. Augustine's College, who had the highest points that we'd seen at the, um, at the, at the, at the uh, quarter-final stage. Did you see yourselves as underdogs coming into that well, not, not really. We, we understood that the contest was going to be tough, but then we just 
we put our trust in the Lord. So we just went to the contest optimistic that we'll come out victorious. Okay. Okay. One of you was a business student, right? At this other college? None? Okay. So a little bit whispered in my ears that one of you was a business student. Okay. None of you are all science students. All science students. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, let me move on to Presec Legon. Tell me, I'm sure you've had a talk about equaling the number of times that you have won the trophy. We've been interacting with old students of Pempe College, and they tell us that their dream this year, their objective this year, their target this year is to equal the number of times that you have won the trophy. They believe that that is all that Presec Legon stands for. So if they equal the number of times that you know, uh, you've, you've won the trophy, then they'll be at par you know, with you. You also want to extend your lead from six to seven. Is that going to happen on Wednesday? By the grace of God, it's going to happen. By the grace of God, it's going to happen. Alfred, is, that, is it going to happen? You can pass on the microphone to him. Yeah, as long as it's God's will, it's going to happen. Okay. Premper College, what, what would it mean to be at par with Presec Legon? What kind of pride, what kind of joy does it bring to you um, as students of Premper College? Oh, winning this um, trophy, that's the sixth one, will make us happier, happier. And also, since we will now equal Prempe, um, equal Presec in, the, in terms of the count of number of trophies we've won, um, no Presec students will be able to say to Prempe that we are better than you in this way or that way. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, at this other college, I think it's important for us to talk about history, right? <laughs> People say, our elders actually say that those who um, ignore history condemn themselves to not knowing the present. So it's important for us to talk about history. At this adult college, from the years 2015 to 2018, you've been to the grand finale four times. And um, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. But you've only won the trophy once. You won it once in 2016. Do you think that history would repeat itself on the stage of the grand finale come Wednesday um, that you fought hard, got into the grand finale, but didn't win. Does it, does, it, does it create some kind of anxiety, you know, some kind of fear for you, looking back on what has happened, you know, in the past? Fear, no. We just hope for the best and then let God's will be done. That's the primary aim. So whether we win, whether we lose, that's, that's God's will. So you'll be fine if you lose? <laughs> no, we won't be fine, but then... <laughs> we won't be fine, but then... Okay. Yeah, we'll put, we are just hoping for the best. Okay. And we'll know that we'll come up victorious. Okay. A again, a little bit whispered to me um, that in your quarterfinal contest, um, the one that you had 31 marks, 31 scores against Assistant, Assistant College, you beat them by just two points. Someone told me that you had a lot of pressure on you because your old students were at the auditorium. So there was actually a plan for them to be absent this time around, so you go just do your thing. How true is that? Uh, there, there's, that's not true. That's not really true. It's not true? It's not true. It's not? No. Okay. Let me go to Pesek Legon. Um, you had some donations, uh, when was that? Last week, right? Before the semi-final contest. Or you were busy studying, so you you will not be able to tell. I don't really remember. Okay, but tell me, wh what kind of what kind of what kind of pressure representing Presec Legon definitely must come with some kind of pressure with old students saying that they want to win the trophy. That's the only thing they want. If you if you if you play second, no, that's not the ultimate. That's not what they want. Are you under any pressure to deliver on Wednesday? We know the old boys are supporting us massively, but we also trust in God, and we, we are putting all the pressure that they are, okay. they are supposed to give us on God. So we, in turn, we have nothing or no burden on us. Okay. Okay. Prempa College, what should we expect on Wednesday at the Great Hall? Are you winning? Are you winning your set trophy to equal the number of times? Yes. Presley like Gone has won. Yes. You are winning. We are winning, by God's grace. Uh, You'll be winning this. All one. of them are saying God's grace. You have to say something different. <laughs> <laughs>
Because they are, also, they are all banking their hopes on God's grace. Yeah. So yours must be different. Well, it's always God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly God, what should we expect on Wednesday? Are you extending your lead um, to seven to, to be at the top of the NSNQ trophy table? Yes, by the grace of God, we win and bring the seven. By the grace of God, you win? Yes, please. Okay. Um, at this other college, are you also winning? What should we expect on Wednesday? I expect the very best from us and that we let, let God so be done. Okay. Can we hear from you too? We are aware of what we have to do on Wednesday. Mm. So we're putting our best, our very best, and then hopefully, inshallah, we'll come out on top. Okay. Okay. I think now we should pass on the microphone to those who have not spoken. I think Austin, you didn't say anything. Yeah, say something, Austin. Before we wrap up, we are wrapping up. Yeah, so say something. Um, well, we do believe that the contest is not going to be an easy one because for the fact that all the other schools are in the finals, it actually means that they are possible winners. So it yeah. just... Um, it's just that we have to continue to put our trust on Jehovah God so that no matter how the contest goes, like during the contest, no matter what we think might, the outcome might be, we we'll just keep on trusting in him and then we'll be able to win the seventh trophy. Okay, great, Austin. Yeah. Pemper College. So we should expect the very best from us coming Wednesday at the degree two. Okay. Okay. I want to say a big thank you to you, um, gentlemen, um, at this other college, um, Prosecco Legon, and then Premper College. We're going to see you at the grand finale um, on Wednesday um, at the Great Hall. We're going to see how that goes. But remember that the 2022 National Science and Maths Quiz is produced by Primetime Limited and sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with APSA Ghana and also supported by Goal, Prudential Life Insurance, and Airtel Tigo. Uh, the broadcast of the National Science and Maths Quiz and Joy News is supported by Virtual InfoSec Africa and Virtual Security Africa, Vita Milk, Cowbell, alumni by um, Enterprise Life, Fates, Toilet Row, Ace Medical Insurance, Azan Group, Kings Group Limited, Family Health, Medical School, The Basto School, DBS, Corba, um, ZNZ, Smart App, NASCO, and Lumetras from Pharma Trust. Remember um, that the grand finale is going to be live on the Join News channel at exactly 2 o'clock p.m. We've been bringing you all the contest, and you cannot afford to miss out on what will be happening um, at the grand finale come Wednesday. My name is Maxwell Agbak. When I came to you from Kumasi, um, right at the car park, um, the residence um, where the um, contestants, you know, have been lodging. Bye-bye from Kumasi. Now time for us to also say bye-bye from Accra. Yeah. Thank you so much for making time to be with us. A quickly happy birthday to Mrs. Martha Viotto, Asafumami of Living Foundations, Assemblies of God, Church Colleague, Gono Accra, Growing Grace, Good Health and Prosperity. And it's from your husband, Reverend Francis Viotto. Well, uh, Brace, God yeah. willing, tomorrow we are back again. Uh, sure. Max is standing by, mm -hmm. uh, putting a lot of pressure on us. But she, <laughs> she comes here way shortly with news desk. Mm -hmm. uh, do you stay and thanks for your company once again. But but before we go, a friend of mine, Rashida Brobra, is the business development manager for Hantamaro Bank. He's also celebrating a birthday today. So right, happy birthday. A blessed birthday to him as well. Ciao. <laughs>